So Jen and I are in Daichang today and we're walking from our hotel over to rent a scooter. Uh, we'll pick one up from uh, the company we've used before, which is called Zoka. Just walking through this bit of a market street. Bikes going everywhere, fruit, veggies. Smell of garlic everywhere. I have meat hanging up. It's like a little butcher over here. Fish, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, we're going to continue on and try and find Zoka. Right, so this is Edwina. She's number two. We had Ed before Edwina and um, I'm going to show you how we change the batteries here. So we pop the key to pop the blue. You pop the boot up and you pull out the two batteries. One and two. They're about nine kilos. And you come to the GoGo Row station here and you put the batteries in. Come over here, Jen. And have a look at the screen. The screen will tell you that you've put one battery in, you then have to put another battery in. It then checks those batteries, come over here, and tells you how far you've gone on them. So we've done 24.1 Ks. It then will pop out electronically two new batteries. Okay, two new batteries. So these are two new fully charged batteries. And uh, we just pop them back in to the battery compartment. Doesn't matter which way they go, as long as they go in, put them in the battery compartment, close the lid, and uh, we are right to go. So we've been on uh, our new bike, Edwina, uh, another orange GoGo Row scooter, and uh, we've been traveling for about an hour, um, and we have just arrived at the Sinchi Castle. Um, I'm sorry, it's really blown out in the background there. I'll turn it around and you can have a look. It's a really nice uh, area up in the mountains a little bit. Uh, this area is well known for its mushrooms and flowers. They grow lots and lots of flowers around here. Um, this is an attraction called the Sinchi Castle. Uh, they do lots of weddings and it's uh, picnic gardens and, and that sort of thing. It costs $250 per person to come in sounds uh, really expensive um, it's uh, around about $25 each so we're going to go and explore all the fishies making a whirlpool there's plenty of shade around on this on this day it's uh, it's a little bit cooler up here in the mountains um, it's probably 31 uh, humidity is just a little bit less as well uh, and I calculated wrong uh, it was $500 for the two of us so yeah 250 Taiwan dollars each um, which is around about $12.50 per person not $25 so $25 for the two of us that sounds heaps better there's a number of restaurants here on the property that the octagon building there is a restaurant the chateau up the top here uh, that is uh, there's a, a wine chateau in there and a gift store and things like that uh, I haven't worked out what that building over there is yet but there's also another restaurant on the other side as well looks like you can bring your pets here too so that they can enjoy the outdoors uh, that's fish food there you can buy food for the fishes and feed them there's some puppy dog seats over there. Well, not for the puppy dogs, but uh, in the shape of a puppy dog. Straw huts and umbrellas that are providing shade for people. It's actually quite pleasant in the shade, but uh, the sun is still quite bitey. Um, as we rode through the district that we're in, through the town where this is, there are mushroom signs and mushroom 
uh, statues and things everywhere and the same is here. Uh, this area is obviously really well known for growing mushrooms. Some lavender fields down here, a big sign that says don't swim in the lake. This is the chateau, the wine chateau and a uh, very nice building. A couple of turrets, oh, it's hidden behind the trees so you can't see it, but that's okay. coming up. And there's uh, some military helicopters flying around today. Chased us all the way up the road. <laughs> well, maybe not us. So this section is the castle, the actual Sinchi castle. It's uh, made in, well, the sign says ancient Roman uh, design. And there's some uh, arched walls up behind it there as well in the garden. It's uh, basically just a table and picnic venue underneath here to keep cool and dry in the case of rain. There is a, a little cafe restaurant at the end there, but it is currently closed. The rest of the castle ruins here behind. It's a lovely spot to come and visit. This is the gardens and the back of the chateau building. Some steps that go up the hill. Don't know where they go to. Maybe we'll go for a wander. Haven't done many steps today. This area down here is called the Maple Grove. So, thankfully there's still plenty of shade because it is very warm. We're here on a Thursday and uh, there's a uh, half dozen people here, but uh, you can imagine that on a weekend, on a Sunday, it would be just jam packed, absolutely packed everywhere with people picnicking and families and animals and pets and things. So, but very, very nice place. If you get the chance, come and visit because it's lovely. The gardens are extremely well tended and uh, beautiful and green. Lots of flowers, lots of colour. It's lovely. Well, we found one maple tree in the maple grove here. Oh, look at the, look at the caterpillar. Oh. Here at the waterfalls, that just head on down into the, uh, into the dam, the bridge is over there. It's just a really lovely spot to be. And one of the best things is we get to go and get back on Edwina shortly and ride the mountain roads again. But if you can't get a photo of a squirrel because they're too fast and they move too fast, build a statue of one and then take a photo or a video of it. <laughs> Just heading back to our scooter now. There's Edwina. You can see Edwina. The lovely orange scooter from Zoka. And the yellow helmet is a minion helmet, and it's mine. Just stopped to take a picture and a short video of these little flowers here. They're very, very cool. They look like a little Chinese lantern. It's too far away to see, I'm sure, but I'll try and zoom in a little bit. Um, over here are a whole stack of beehives and they uh, extract the honey. Lots and lots of them. I'm not going to go very close because bees don't like me. Um, 
or I don't like bees, take your pick. And uh, yeah, very cool. Just along a little bit further, a field of bonsais. All in their own individual pots. We stopped a little further on from where we were before at the visitor's centre, just up the road when I was complaining that there was nothing to see or do. Um, there's a really nice little park just here with uh, fountains and, and that in the pond. Oop, leaves crunching under my feet. So, yeah, nice spot to stop and take a picky and then we'll continue on and see what else we can find. So we've just got to the far end of the uh, the forest park, the Dongxi Forest Park, and we've stopped at the uh, the lookout. It's not as exciting as we were hoping. Um, yeah, this one, well, we can say we've been here. It wasn't what we expected. It wasn't what we thought it was going to be, but that's okay. So the area that we're in here at the forest park is well known for its insects. We saw a couple of cars parked on the side of the road, so they, they waved us over and they showed us that uh, here on the tree, a couple of uh, the rhinoceros beetles. One there, and there's another one which is right up high in the tree. I can't quite get it, but uh, very cool. <laughs> 